welcome back to my channel so today girl i'm getting a late start it is 6 38 i am headed to stars and strikes y'all already know that's my favorite bowling alley slash um kitty casino slash arcade so that's what we're going tonight to go have a little end of the week fun y'all know i love bowling bowling is my thing so that's primarily what we're gonna go do I got my mouth set on these old wings when I get in here. I love their hot lemon pepper wings. Have me a couple of drinks and bring it on back to the house, y'all. Um, I did get some cool packages in from Amazon. Well, I got one that I'm going to share with you because I shared it in the community section. It was that uh, it was on a daily deal or a today's deal, one day deal, whatever. You know how Amazon be doing? They have sometimes like sporadic Amazon deals and it was a um, a deep fryer a small like deep fryer so I got that I want to unbox that I might do that tonight depends on how I feel when I leave here if I'm still hungry or not because I am hungry right now but if I get in here and eat, I probably won't use the gadget when I get home I'll probably just wait till tomorrow um, to record that and demo that um, it was like 30 bucks, so I can't wait to see it, open it up, see how it fits on my countertops. So I've had it, I, I have a deep fryer. I think it's by the same brand, it's just a different shape. It is in my storage unit, but this one was just like nicely priced, so I just went on and got it. I didn't know if you guys already had those. So this one was just like affordable and super cute and it was just like the perfect size for me. Why not get it? Just why not get another one? So I copped it. So we'll probably use that tomorrow because I got my groceries delivered this morning. I put wingettes on the list. Cause girl, I wanna fry some cheeky. I wanna fry some mini. <laughs> you know how it is when you get a, a new gadget, you be ready to try. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do probably tomorrow because I don't see myself doing all that tonight. I wanna get some rest after this. And yeah, that's about all I got going on. Let me show you the area. Y'all have seen this area before. That's Dave and Buster's, our Trader Joe's. And right across the street is Stars and Strikes. That's where we're headed. Steak and Shake be busting, y'all. I love me some Steak and Shake. All right, so I'm just pulling up. I um, I'll have this wig review up too, just in case y'all be having questions about my wig reviews in the videos. And I be done recorded a whole video normally, um, previously, but no one really cares about it when I do the initial review. Y'all only like it when I'm actually wearing it, wearing it. But I get it though, because I, I ain't gonna lie, I really don't be checking for wig reviews on the normal anyway. If something catches my eye when somebody's wearing it, then yes, I ask questions. I'm like that too, so I totally get it. But I'm gonna try to have this wig review up uh, at the same time as this video, probably before, but it's from Love Me Hair. I absolutely love, love, love the cut and the color on this and it came curled like this so I didn't have to do anything to it like nothing I've literally done nothing to this wig but put it on my head today um, I was going to put it on rollers after I did the review but I didn't I just put it back in this little pack and set it to the side because I knew that I probably wanted to wear it today and here it is but you know what let me go ahead and go inside because people are just traipsing on in here and I don't want them to be getting the lanes. I don't know if they're in here waiting on me or whatever. But let me go take my butt on in here.
fumble around and like he can't find his ball. He ain't ready for this ass that he about to get. Okay. I already got mine set up. I need like a I got an eight and a ten. I'd rather have a nine, but I don't see what I need. Well I guess he, he's back with his balls. welcome back to my channel so i'm off to a late start as per usual um i'm about to get dressed i just got finished uh, one load of laundry now i have my linen going in the laundry clean the kitchen swiffer the floors now in my hand i'm planning my outfit because like i said i'm about to go out with a friend we're gonna have a late lunch i guess you can call this kind of dinner because it's three o'clock it is 3 p.m in the afternoon so yeah that's what we're gonna go do just have some chill vibes and then come back here finish cleaning up and just further relax and i got my rollers in my hair you guys have already seen this unit i wore this last night to go bowling but i wanted to keep the curls popping and cute so i said let me just put it on some rollers for a while um so yeah, I'm gonna wear this again today. Yeah, we're gonna keep this on since it's already kind of on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup, figure out what I'm gonna wear. Of course, jeans of some sort. I could wear a dress. I could wear some cutesy, but it's not that type of dinner. So um, we'll figure it out. Next, when I get back in, well, you know what? I won't make time. Let me go ahead and open this deep fryer. I wanna show it to you now. All right, so here is the box that it came in. I got this from Amazon. This is one that I I told you about this yesterday and I also shared it with you in the YouTube community section. Y'all, my washer is going in the background, so. Let's go ahead and open it. See, it's not super big. I feel like this is the perfect size. For me. Now, if you're cooking for a family, you might want a bigger one. But they do have a bigger one. So I'm glad to be opening it now because that way I can go ahead and get this package ready to go out with the trash pickup. Because, girl, I'll be sitting here accumulating all these boxes. Hate that. All right, got that out. Do y'all be keeping the instructions? Maybe I'll just hold on to it for us, for a for spell. I like to just throw all this stuff away. I feel like I know what I'm doing with this little deep fryer. What kind of instructions do we need other than plug it up, fill it up with grease? Put in your grease. Oh, this is small, small. I don't know, y'all might not be 
wait, this little bit of small thing. Let me just put this to the side. This is teeny tiny. It works for me though, but it is the smallest of a small one. It is small. But what should I have been expecting? It's a 1.6 quart. Um, just getting it set up. Look at it. Oh my God, it is so small. But it's cute though. Oh, this little cardboard. Let's take the cardboard out. Alright. There we go. There we go. Alright. The little tiny heating element. I do enjoy getting new gadgets though. I cannot lie. Okay, there we go. It just magnetically sticks inside. That's awesome. Okay, I like that. It's cute or whatever. She cute, cute. Um, but since I'm gonna eat, see, every time I be wanting to use this stuff and demo it, somebody calls and always wants to do something. Not that I'm mad at it, cause I do love being out in these streets from time to time. But I did want to use this. I still got wings in the refrigerator that I wanted to fry up. But we'll get to it. We're gonna have plenty of time. But this is so cute. Uh -huh. Get it together, little girl. There we go. Okay, so we got a little lid to put on it to preserve our grease. Just get familiar with the little basket right now. I'm putting them up. Little, um, little plug out of there. It's just a little bit. Look at the basket. It is so little and cute. All right, we're just getting everything attached. Everything is super easy. Girl, look at that. That is so cute. It's like a little small order, a medium order of fries. Be a little short on the cook at home for your your peeps. This is super cute. I'll keep this somewhere over on the counter, but that is cute. Look at it. You can put it away real easily in the cabinets. But I've had this same um, brand before. My last one is by Elite Gourmet, but it's 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 a bit bigger. But this is more like service for maybe two. One, if you eat like me, this is you could probably put eight, eight wingettes in here. Yeah, I can see about eight going in there in your little order of fries. So this is perfect. This is perfect for me. I like it. All right, it's cute, cute. So we'll set this to the side. Well, no, I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling late tonight because I know I got a lot of stuff to do to handle. I don't know. I might be hungry again. Because I haven't had anything to eat thus far other than I had a pumpkin spice iced coffee that I made myself. I just recently discovered, girl, that I like pumpkin spice. I, I used to think that was, you know, for people other than us black people. I didn't know we got down with pu uh, pumpkin spice. But any other term, I'm not trying to have your pumpkin pie, your pumpkin nothing. But the pumpkin spice iced coffee I tried the other day for the first time at McDonald's. It was good. Now, I did add caramel to it and extra cream, but it it's jumping. But I'll show you how I make mine as well. But I definitely enjoy the pumpkin spice. I don't see me wanting it all the time, but I'll enjoy it as a seasonal drink. So, yeah, I do like my pumpkin spice. I got to put that out there. Pumpkin spice is it's pretty good, but I feel like I've tried it before in the past, and I, I just couldn't get jiggy with no pumpkin spice. Keep your pumpkin spice. I ain't want it, but it's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and beat my mug real quick. Throw on my clothes and be out the door. I want to be in the wind in 20 minutes, which is so doable for me. 
but yeah, I have a cut my wig back. I, don't, I can't put my wig on like all the way and properly and do my makeup. I just, it's just hard for me to do that. I see others doing it all the time and they make it look easy. I just can't do it. It's not my thing. It just feels better just having my wig totally off or cocked back. Cause I almost said I don't see how people do that. And I hate when people say that. Like, what do you mean you don't see how? You watching them do it. <laughs> it's just what your eyes see. Your eyes are not deceiving you. They're putting their makeup on while their wig is on. It's just like that. <laughs> well, I don't see how she did that. You just watched the same video I did. I saw her do it. That's how she did it. Just like that. Just say you're not comfortable with doing X, Y, Z. Just say that. Yeah, girl, we're almost done. So I want to just stop here and then just define my brows and throw on some lipstick because I definitely could. I just like a polished look sometimes, you know. Just want to look nice. <laughs> and people think it just takes so much time to apply makeup it really doesn't and you don't have to have the most expensive makeup brushes to do it i use this these little um brushes right here from that i pick up from amazon i've had this same set for almost a year i absolutely love them sadden a little more even though i said i didn't want to do the most i shouldn't have did that though i guess i want to demonstrate how good my brush works my little ten dollar brush that i love them. i have them linked down below but i absolutely love these little brushes super cute and super nice i think i more so like them too because they were silver it just matches my whole little vanity setup you know but they actually applied my foundation pretty good and that it is we're done I'm going to go in with a little concealer. You're saying every year someone comes up with a new um, technique to add concealer to the face, contour the face, and then throw up old chart with X's and, and check marks. Like if you're not doing it this way, you're doing it wrong. Well, in actuality, there's no wrong way to apply your makeup. If the out, um, outcome is what you desire, girl, you did your shit right. That's just how that goes. And with them just adding a, a, a little swig here and a swig there, and then you come back and you're blending it all together, what was the point? I could have just added it to my face the way I normally do. You just blended it all together in the same direction that I would if I applied it like this. So sometimes it just makes no sense. But I get it though. People do things for the trends. And to get oh, and to get you to watch and make you feel like your technique is subpar when indeed it is not. So there is really no right or wrong way to apply your products, girl. You do it as you see fit. Okay? Girl, I'm trying to move fast. Alexa, what time is it? It's 3.13 p.m. Okay, we're doing good because it was just... Okay, 3.13? So I feel like it was just 3 when I told y'all it was 3. But I guess that ain't been too long ago. Okay, then. We moving. We moving. Right along. Moving right along. I did get some new 
makeup products and from Merit Beauty. I absolutely love their their packaging, their products. Everything is just so chic and pretty. Remember my initial order when the brand first launched, it came in this cute little makeup bag, which could double as an evening clutch. I don't know if they're still offering this bag, but it is so cute. We're going to get into some of those products too. I may just go ahead and review a few see how they work test them out when i say review it's more so for myself i like to put it on and do a wear test see how i like stuff because i get all types of stuff if i like it i'll tell you about it if i don't girl i don't talk about it i really don't i don't really too tough like to push things that i don't like i really don't But I know I shouldn't say that too tough either because I have people thinking that, oh, she didn't review my stuff because she didn't like it. I am a procrastinator as well. I still got a whole pile of things that I haven't reviewed, that I actually like. I just haven't gotten to them because I guess people don't really understand my life that I actually work. I don't just sit around the house making videos. So this is Merit. This is Merit's... um foundation slash contour stick though this looks more like my skin tone oh yeah this should just be more of a foundation for me okay that's gonna set me back a few seconds let me just blend that in yeah that looks more like my skin tone it did have a darker shade i just didn't up for it because sometimes when I do try to go darker with my contour sticks they end up being a little too dark and that never works well for me let me see what else I have from them oh I do have a little cream of blush from them this is in raspberry beret I like cream blushes from time to time that's cute color, right? Their um, lip balms are, are really nice. Their mascara is bomb.com though. It's probably one of my purses. I live for their mascara. What else I got? But check out Merit Beauty though. Really nice brand though. Oh, one of their highlighting sticks. We ain't gonna do all of that today. I'm not really interested in a full face, but their little lip balms, girl, they feel so good on the lips. I think this is one of their brow gels though, but I love the actual packaging that they send. So cute, but all of their products are luxuriously packaged. I got a lot of their, their products. They're so pretty. Yeah, this is another brow product. We'll get to those. We'll get to those. But meanwhile, let me add my contour, which is totally optional. I don't even have to do this. I'm just like wasting time literally right now. Okay, this is how I like doing makeup. And that's my black opal stick. This is what color I would prefer um, my contour stick to be. At least like two or three shades darker to add warmth. Just gonna blend it all in there together, girl. Blend it all in there. This is that same brush we use to apply the foundation. We're in there. All 
All right. Sometimes I like to use my cream on my nose. Sometimes I just like to use the powder. It just depends on how extreme of a makeup look I'm going for. But this just works for me. It's just fast to run it stick down the side of my nose. But contouring is one of those optional things. I like the way that looks. All right, we're gonna set it and we're gonna get dressed and be out the door. And I'm still using my um, Sasha Buttercup powder. I love Sasha Buttercup. It's like the perfect everyday setting powder for me. Not too bright. And it's not overly, you know, like dark to where it just looks like I just got straight powder all over my face, like, you know, my foundation powder. It's just the perfect amount to look highlighted. Now, if I want something totally extra, I do go lighter. I use my CoverGirl Translucent Banana Powder. But the Sasha Buttercup is a deeper banana, if that makes any sense. And it's so pretty on darker skin, too. A lot of people like darker tones, like they use that topazy type color by Ben Nye. I love that, too. But I'm telling you, this banana powder by Sasha is really pretty on dark skin, too. It's so pretty to me. A lot of people have still been asking me to do their makeup or try to book me still to do makeup. And I'm going to be honest, I um, I do still perform the service for certain clients, but not all the time do I make myself accessible to do makeup because I had a couple of bad experiences and it just totally turned me off to, you know, want to provide the service and plus I'm in a place now that well I don't really have a desire to be a makeup artist if that makes sense I'm okay with just keeping my my makeup tutorials on YouTube I'm not pressed to provide the service for pay I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But girl, that's just a whole video in itself to just tell you about some of the experiences. But I'll never forget this one that I had. It was a wedding. And I typically, girl, I enjoy weddings. Those are so much fun to glam up everybody and see everybody happy with their end result. You know, everybody's really happy, looking good, looking pretty, feeling glam. And everybody has their phones out, snapping pictures up with each other and posting your work because they seem genuinely happy, you know, with having their makeup done. And a lot of times I'm learning that these women, this is like their first time seeing themselves that way you know and just being that glam and seeing them actually love the work you know it feels good knowing that they like it but that wasn't the case with one win now mind you i've done several several weddings several weddings but this was the first one I had this response. And I'm not going to say it was because of um, the group. 
And when I say the group, they were all white. This was a white bridal party. It's just that the bride's mom had a didn't have that vision of her daughter, that glam. Now the daughter was perfectly aware of my makeup style. I got a whole website online. I've had this very same website for damn near uh, six, seven years where I post all of my work. Cause not only do I provide glam services, but girl, I'm pretty good with special effects makeup as well. I'm pretty good with that. But anyway, like I said, my work was there, which is how this lady found me online. Online. <laughs> but anyway, so I've done the makeup. Everybody was looking good, looking cute, feeling themselves. I'm telling you, these girls were standing around posing and, you know, taking all the photos and even wanting to know, which is typical. What did you use? What was the such and such, you know? Because now in their heads, we're going to be glam all the time. I plan to do this. Well, maybe not all the time, but from time to time. And I get it. It's perfectly fine to feel that way. I think it's just great to want to feel good and look good from time to time. I feel like everybody should want to. But anyway, when I tell you the mom came in, when I tell you her face was, was total disgust. Just to look at her face, girl, you already knew what time it was. I just knew, I said, oh, shit. That's what I said to myself. And mind you, I ain't, I ain't do all that because we was actually in the church. We were at the church in one of the back rooms where everybody was getting dressed and getting glam. Um, they had a hair lady there. She was, you know, do doing up all those little updos, that ponytail thing with all the aquanet and the and the baby's breath and the little pearls and things like that. Putting it, it was chic, very chic. It was cute. That type of hairstyle deal, that's what... Um, the look was i loved it i thought it was cute with the makeup of course you know i'm gonna like the makeup i'm the provider but it was definitely a neutral glam style it, it's not like it was all over the top they didn't have bright pink lips or you know stuff like that it was like a normal neutral bridal glam But the mama said that they looked like, she told me that they looked like whores. And that was horrible. She, her, her exact words was, they look horrible. I don't think, well, why the hell did you book a makeup artist? Like, we, we apply makeup. What did you want? So I'm thinking sometimes people like the idea of spending money on things that they didn't want. But I honestly felt like the bride, she really liked her makeup. I think it was the mama. It was the mama who pissed on her parade that day. Because she was totally feeling it. And then the mama, honey, it didn't stop with the mama and her negative ass comments. And it's always the mama. That, be, that love to be negative and they think that they ain't when they are but anyway so the mama sent her older brother in when I tell you honey I don't know who which one was worse after that she kept saying I, I know you think that they need to be glamour we, we're not those type of people I want to say well what type of people I mean what are you what are you describing and what and how do you really feel about those that wear makeup like what what are you saying to me right now what she just kept saying we're not those type of people we don't need that we don't need all of that I said you know what let me just pack up my shit and go and go after I got finished patting her face with a little powder and I said let me wipe well, I mean what is it she don't like you don't mean to wipe it all off like what do you really want to ask the lady that I said, do you not want your makeup on? I said, you can tell me that. We can just wipe it off and put you some moisturizer on. I mean, what, what do you want? What do you want? Some Vaseline on your lip? Like, what do you want? Because like, I, didn't, I didn't know. I, at this point, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm never really, like, dumbfounded in a place where I don't even know what to say. And do. Like, I was literally shocked. I remember calling down. And down and got so pissed. And me telling her those things. And I can see that one now. That one would have been real pissed. <laughs> I, I, I 
couldn't do nothing but just pack up my shit and says, Lord, just let me get on out of here as fast as I can and keep my peace and my sanity. That's all I want to do. And at that point, when I was packing up, I had said to myself, well, hell, you came to do the job. You did the job. They didn't like it, even though they knew your glam style. But they booked you anyway. I said, well, hey, it's not your fault. Because I, I maybe she should have ran this by her mama before she let me show up down at the church. Made sure her mama was okay with her having makeup. And mind you, this is a grown woman who's well, well into her 30s. Who could easily make her own life decisions about something as small as makeup on her wedding day. I just said, hey, look. I just had to pack it up and say, well, shit, honey, you got paid. Just go on about your business. This is just one for the books. And that, even in that moment when I had that situation about them not liking the makeup and being attacked from two, two different people in the family, I, I still wasn't done with being a makeup artist then. That wasn't it for me. It wasn't them because I do realize you can't please everybody. Like Uncle Clifford said, you can't eat everybody's cup of tea. You just can't be everybody's cup of tea. So, I get that. So, I don't think I like the idea of trying to please people. It's either you know what I'm about. You book me. Because if you book me, I'm assuming that you know what I do. You're booking me because you like what I do. But I don't even I don't even want to play the guessing game and assume that I know that you're you know you're familiar with me and why I, I guess I, I guess that's why I just never assume. I just ask a million questions to make sure people know what they want as it pertains to anything I do slash say slash can and might provide for you. I just make sure that you you know what you're asking for. You know? But then I had a situation too where I was traveling because i don't normally travel um to do makeup like when i say travel like i do go to locations for weddings of course that comes within the the price um and i do service almost all of all of alabama because i've gone as far as you know oh oh um montgomery Because y'all know I'm in North Alabama. Yeah, I don't mind traveling. But normally for like a one man job, like one little woman getting her makeup done, man, woman, whatever you are, uh, who wants their makeup done, whether it's like a male grooming or full face for a woman, I stop doing that, traveling to you. I'll just let you come to me or we'll just meet in a neutral location to get it done or just come to wherever your little event is. I would do that. Like if it's the actual event location, I would go there, but not per se to your home, if that makes sense. But I showed up to go show out for one of my little young glam clients. It was for her prom. So I'm finishing up her makeup. The, when I say her, I mean, you know, the prom girl, huh? the, the young diva. When I tell you her makeup was popping, it was so pretty. Girl, I don't know what it be. It just be so pretty to me on these little young faces. But, um, girl, I said I wasn't finna do no highlighter. Y'all got me over here talking, and I'm over here just adding shit I normally wouldn't even be adding. Because I've been over adding highlighter to the face. I don't never be doing that. Y'all just got me over here talking. Because I'm done. Because I, mean, I would have been called this a day. But I'm going to put a little eyeliner on. But listen. So, I was there. Just finished doing her little makeup. And it came out so cute. The mom steps in. I'm packing up. Now, when I show up to someone's house, I always have everything I need. So, I don't have to ask you for no paper towel. No this. No that. 
nothing. I have a um a whole paper towel roll in my train case. And my train case is like tall, like literally. It comes up to here. And I'm sitting down. It's tall. So if I stand up, it's probably at my belly button. It's one of those big ones. So I have everything in a whole roll of paper towels, some spray cleaner. Now, not sanitizer, but I have sanitizer too, but I actually have cleaner. And I roll down paper towel and put all my stuff on it so I can pick up all my trash. I don't even need your trash can. I don't even want to put nothing in your trash can. I mean, I'm taking it all the trash or whatever I brought with me is going back with me and I throw it away when I get home. Just so I'm not inconveniencing the client in any type of way. And it just makes for an easier getaway for me. I can get the hell on at your, at your place. But listen, the mama comes in and says, can I get a sample? These are her exact words. Can I get a sample? I said, well, I don't have any containers or anything to, to give you any sample sizes or samples of the makeup. And samples isn't really something that I provide. The only time that I would do anything, quote unquote, that's comparable to a sample is if I'm giving a bride you know touch up makeup so she can have something you know throughout her day or her night and she's you know partying taking pictures and you know living life with her family doing her thing so she can touch up her face I said but I don't have any samples she's like no I want to see how my face will look can you just do something real quick so I can see how I look with makeup I said well though that still be considered a a full face and I still have to charge you the rate like you still have to pay the rate to get a full face she said just for a sample I said well ma'am there's no such thing as a full face sample I mean that's still makeup application I said that's still makeup application now mind you now I'm using my sweet I'm using my sweet voice okay I'm, I'm still using my sweet voice being pleasant you know all of those things well honey, when I tell you she flipped it to well, hurry up and get the hell on out of here you know, it just flipped. This woman told me to hurry up and get on out of there. Girl, when I tell you, I couldn't get out of there fast enough. And that's when I said, you know what? I'm done with this shit, man. I am done. I am done, done. But yeah, I will consider doing big weddings from time to time. Like, But I'm very selective about who I choose to do things like that for now. I have become very, very selective. And that was fast, girl. We did our makeup and like if I wasn't sitting here jaw jacking and, and adding unnecessary stuff, we would have been finished. But yeah, I'm done with my face. This is my typical uniform, tank top and jeans and my sandals, fashion over jeans, Amazon tank top, body suits. So yeah. All right, so I'm finally in the car, girl. It never really takes me that long to get ready, so. In the car, ready to go eat. Probably go to Outback because last time I had Outback was Sunday. When I tell you it was jumping, I had it delivered. Well, I did the pickup order rather. I wasn't delivered. Which one did I do? I had something delivered that day. Was it my food? Anyway, I had um Outback and I had the ribeye, um, the loaded baked potato and the asparagus and I normally don't like a baked potato when I tell you that baked potato is everything girl I damn near ate the skin it was so good I killed it so I'm, I'm feeling like I want that again I'll probably get the ribeye because y'all know I love some old good steak mm -hmm. I haven't cooked myself one in a while either it's been months I think yeah it's been at least two or three months since I cooked steak in the house so that's what I'm on. Damn it, I forget. I needed to go by Walmart. I had a, um, something to drop off. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm so ready for this. I think I want to go by TJ Maxx and a Marshalls. We'll probably go to the one in Decatur. See if you want to go do a little shopping. Yeah. Because the TJ Maxx indicator be having some cute things. I still hate that I didn't get that bag when I saw it in TJ Maxx months ago in Birmingham. Because that was like the perfect everyday black leather bag. And it gave Bottega vibes. But I forget who it was by. But it was some Italian designer. And the leather was just everything. I should have got that bag. It was like on clearance for like $98 or $99. 
I hate I left that bag there. That's what I want, like a, a big leather bag, black one that I can All right, guys, I've ended up at TJ Maxx. Let's see what they got. Uh oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, it's Steve Madden. I'm never gonna find a bag similar to that one I saw in Birmingham. I should have got it. That's a 24 inch. That's too big for carry on. That's a 24 inch. That's way too big. I'm saying, but if I go through and I miss my flight, it don't look too crazy. You're right, you're right, like right. Yeah, that's the. Those. I told my sister that's like the sneaky size. Yeah, it's like one of those when you get to get like yeah, you know better. Yeah, you know better. Yeah. Right, is that? I, and me, I, when you get to my gate with that, I'm don't telling you, you got to check that in, sir. Don't take the tag off either, because I'm not going to back the thing. Uh-uh. Well, that's a cute everyday purse. And spin a night bag. It's only 40 bucks. Hmm. You know what? I'm not dealing with you today. That's cute carry on. No. It's what you called it. Good. And it's a little bit thicker. No, you don't. Yeah, this yeah. is the perfect size. Yeah, that's 24. I uh, no, that's not. That's a 20 inch. This is 20 inch. That's 24. Yeah, that's, that's too big. That doesn't fit in the you sizer always though. Follow the rules. You're supposed to follow the rules. You always follow the rules. For the most part, I do follow the rules. So get a real carry on because you don't want them to embarrass you at the gate. You won't because you don't work the gate. I do work the gates. No, because I'd be too busy on the ramp. I don't live one where, if I'm shorthanded, do I have to run up and do everything? But for the most part, no, I try not to. I don't like working early on the early morning shifts like that. That's a cute backpack. Claw clips seem to be in right now. Everybody's loving a claw clip. So they got some pretty cool ones in here. Look at these, these are pretty. Though I do like this set too. These are cute. How do they go on there? These are real cute underoos. I do like to come in here and shop for um, bras. Cause so I like that you can get like a two pack for a reasonable price. Yeah, it's all your fall harvest and pumpkin stuff. I've never purchased any of this stuff. I want to get into it, but I just, I don't know. I just can't get into the pumpkin. <sighs> I just can't get into the whole pumpkin, even though they got some pink ones. They do have pink pumpkins. I just don't know how I feel about the whole pumpkin trend. Here's my rice cooker, but of course mine is in pink, but I have been wanting an egg bite. 
maker. This is kind of cool. It's only sixteen bucks, sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. I have to come in here and do my Christmas shopping. Because, like I said, I do want an egg bite maker. Though you can do this with a muffin pan. These are already open, so don't come for me. But well, they're so cute. I can't justify another mug, though. This is so pretty. I want to change my bedding up so bad. I think this is the move. I love this mauve color. So I ended up getting the leather backpack. This works for every day and it'll hold my iPad 12.9 easily. So this was a good buy. So I am back. I had a good day. The food was actually really good. I hadn't been to Golden Corral in years. So we went to the one in Decatur because we no longer have one in Huntsville, but it was, it was, it was, it was good for what it was, you know, and I hadn't had that in forever. Everything still tasted the same. It was real good. I always get the same stuff when I go to buffets. I don't know, but it was good though. I appreciated the experience, but I think I ate more than I should have ate, but that's how it goes when you go to a buffet, right? So... As you know, we went to TJ Maxx. I ended up picking up this black all leather backpack and I just thought this would be perfect for everyday use for work. I do have a cute black one that I got years ago from, I wanna say it was like, one of those stores kinda like Burlington, if not Burlington, but I don't think it was Burlington. I can think of the name probably later, but it definitely wasn't Burlington, but it was one of those, um, leatherette backpacks it's real cute though but this one i just love leather i always if i can just get leather i'm good with that but this one's beautiful real chic it looks super expensive i got it on clearance okay super nice love it down at the tj Maxx. yes this is cute just black leather just simple and i specifically bought this to house my iPad, it just go down in here perfectly so I can easily travel with it and take this to work. That's just like perfect because you know, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and pack all of my daily needs in and see how it fits. I really need to leave my agenda out because I do need to write some important dates in it for some things I got coming up. But I'll probably do it before I go to bed. But nonetheless, this always goes inside my wallet, my debit card that needs to be inside my card holder wallet. So this is gonna hold quite a few things. Um, and really, that's about it. And some sanitizer wipes, my coin purse. And let's see, that's just about all I need for every day. Use, really. A little lipstick pouch. A little cash, take some cash. My yeah, that's pretty much all I need in here. Everything fits perfectly fine in this bag. So, oh yeah, my blue blocking glasses that I keep with me all the time. We'll pack these and we'll put these in the out pocket. I'll put this in there because this needs to go in my car. A C-type iPhone charger cable. That just came today. 
put it in here just in case I forget it in the house because it needs to go to my car. I bought that specifically for my car. Let's put some earbuds in there. I need a charger. And yeah, that's all I need really to get me through the day. I better put these in a little pocket though, because this does have pockets. But yeah, that is what I'm gonna be keeping in my bag for day-to-day -day use. All right, that looks nice. Oh, it made it heavy though, but <laughs> yes, I am loving it, loving it, loving it. What is this brand? Unica, made in Italy. Where y'all? TJ Maxx, I'm proud of running purchase. But yeah, girl, that's all I've been doing this weekend, my two days all relaxing, just taking it easy, just chilling, really. Um, my dryer's going, my sheets are in there. Probably got another 10, 15 minutes and then put my bed together and I'm going to sleep. Um, start my week tomorrow, time to go back to work. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads, okay? Until next time. Bye. I am so tired.